In this video, we would learn how to write command plugins in Maya using Maya Python API. And command plugin act like mel command. So there are three most important thing about writing a command plugin. First, defining a function of the plugin, of the command plugin. Second is initialization, which is also called as registration. The third is uninitialization, which is also called as deregistration. Now, what does initialization or registration means? Whenever something is sent inside the Maya core, the process of sending is called as initialization or registration. So if I send object A inside Maya core, it would be called as registration or initialization of A. And when something is removed from Maya core, it's called as uninitialization. So sending something to the Maya core is initialization and removing something is uninitialization. So what is Maya core? So we would see a structure and this diagram is a command communication flow. This is command communication flow. So in this diagram, the most inner part is your OS. So for example, when you get a hardware you first put OS in it and then you install Maya so the innermost part or the layer of this communication flow is operating system and then comes Maya core it's the actual Maya application on top of it we have API layer and then we have the layer of Mel and Python commands so there if we if we write cmds dot select that might execute several api commands with that single execution so the outer layer is mel python command and then you have maya gui for example if you create sphere it when you press this button it executes a mel command which executes several API commands, one or more than one API commands, and then it affects the Maya core. So that is the command communication flow. So the, the basic Maya application itself is called as Maya core. So whenever something is introduced inside Maya core, that is called as registration. So when we write a command plugin with defining initialization, we have to also define uninitialization. So until Maya would know that how to uninitialize it, it would not, not let you initialize your command plugin. It's, it's kind of like the same way if you, if you have a guest coming in and if you know that he would never leave, you might not invite him inside or her inside. But if you would know that at certain point they would leave, you would be okay to invite them and do a party or whatever and then they can leave so Maya thinks in the same way it it should know how to invite a guest 
and how to send him back out of your house so Maya in this way acts like a human all right so now we know what is initialization and uninitialization now we would see what would be the basic workflow for writing a command plugin and move this on the side and so first of all we would write a command plugin in the form of a class we define class name so this would be our class and then we would create an instance of this class after that we would attach a pointer to this instance this pointer would be helpful to register this command plugin and then we would ask Maya to generate a handle that is going to grab this pointer this handle generated by Maya would grab this handle and this handle would bring the instance or this plugin inside Maya core so this is the general workflow it's a quick workflow now we would write the code and we would understand it understand this process briefly now let's go to Maya and start writing some code and then we would see how to generate this pointer how to create this instance and how Maya is going to generate this handle and introduce this command plugin inside Maya core so let's go to Maya and start writing code